you one and welcome to Wednesday's English lesson. I hope that you've got something to write with and something to write on so that you can join in with us as we are going along in the lesson. The learning objective today is to use the suffixes s and es to show the plural. Our success criteria is to identify the words that are plural, to explore using suffixes with plural words and to apply suffixes to plural words. I want you first of all to have a look at what is in red. The sentence number one says, Puffy, the pufferfish, could blow the best bubbles. The second sentence says, What can your fingers do, Barry? And the third sentence says, The other fish were chasing each other through sea caves. Pause the video and write down what is in red. These are suffixes and they show that the word is plural. We've got ES on the end of bubble, we've got S on the end of fingers, and we've got ES on the end of caves. Plural means that there is more than one. Here are some examples, foxes, boxes, fingers and caves. A suffix is a letter or a group of letters that goes on the end of a word and changes the word's meaning. In this case, and for today's lesson, we are looking at ES and S. I want you to have a look at these words and decide which of the words are plural. Remember, plural means more than one. So we've got dog, seashells and bubbles. Pause the video and write down on your paper which of the words are plural. It may be more than one. Brilliant. It's number two and number three. Seashells and bubbles are plural words. Now have a look at these words. We've got bears, prints and caves. Which of the words are plural? Pause the video and write down your answer. Well done! It's bears and caves. They are plural words. So we have got a rule here to help us to know when we are changing a noun from singular to plural, we don't always add S on the end. If the word ends in S or SH or CH or X or Z, we must add the letters E and S. But if it ends in a Y, we need to add a Y, we, oh sorry, we need to take away the Y and we need to add Y, E, S. Everything else you add S on the end. So this is a rule that's really important for you to learn to know what you need to add on the end of the word when it's plural. And remember, again, plural means that there is more than one. And a suffix is a letter or group of letters that goes on the end of a word and changes the word's meaning. So in this instance, we've got ES and S. I want you to have a look and identify and correct the suffix that is wrong. So we have got cats, giants and beans. Look at the rule to remind yourself of what should go on the end when it's plural. And then I want you to write down on your piece of paper which one of these words is wrong. It's beans. So before, as you saw, it had an ES on the end. But remember, we need to just add S. We don't need to add ES because it ends in an N, the word bean. So you just need to put S on the end. So well done if you got that correct. The other two were correct already. Cats and giants were correct. Now this one. We've got the words paint witches and chairs. Which one of these is wrong? Remember the rule. Remind yourself when you need to add ES, when you need to add S. Pause the video and write down which of these words is wrong. Well done, it's witches. You need to add an ES on the end because it ends with a CH, a CH sound. So it needs to have an ES added onto the end. And now these ones, we've got box, trumpet and mile. We need to now turn these words into plural words. At the moment they are singular, so it's just one box, one trumpet and one mile. But we want to make them plural, we need to change them so that there's more than one. Look at the rule and I want you to have a think and write down your paper. What we need to do, what letters we need to add on, is it an S or an ES onto each one of these words? Brilliant. So for box, we add ES because it ends with a X. For trumpet, we add an S, just an S. 
because it ends with a T. And for mile, it ends with an E, so we add S. Well done for getting those correct. Now we've got these words, princess, cat, and car. What do we need to add onto the end of these words to turn it into plural words? Again, look at the rules to help you to work out what you need to add. Pause the video and write down how we can change these words into plural words. Brilliant! For princess, you add ES because it ends with an S. For cat and for car, you just need to add S. Well done! Remember, plural means that there's more than one. So fox turns to foxes, box turns to boxes, finger turns to fingers, cave turns to caves. And a suffix is a letter or group of letters that goes on the end of a word, like the ones in red you can see here. And it changes the word's meaning. For this lesson, and for, on these examples, we're just using ES and S as our suffixes. Okay, now I want you to change the singular words into plural. Here we've got one apple, and here we've got two apples. What are you going to write down? I want you to spell the words and write them down on your paper. I hope that you have all got this. So apple is spelled like this, and then apples, you just need to add an S on the end, because it already ends in the E. So you would not put ES, you just put S. The next one is one dress and two dresses. I want you to write down the words, so dress and dresses. Are you going to add an ES or just an S? Pause the video and write down your answer. Fantastic. Dress looks like this. Dresses, you need to add ES because remember our rule? When there's an S on the end, you need to add ES. Let's look at our rule one more time. If the word ends in an S, an SH, a CH, an X or a Z, any of these letters, you need to add ES as your suffix. And then if it ends in a Y, you need to take away the Y and add YES as your suffix. For everything else, you just add S. And one more time, plural means that there's more than one. Fox turns to foxes. Box turns to boxes, finger turns to fingers, cave turns to caves. A suffix is a letter or a group of letters that goes on the end of a word and changes the word's meaning. And so the suffix examples here are ES and S. So for today's lesson, you're going to turn the singular word into the plural word. So you need to look at the pictures. You need to write down what the singular word is. For example, this one's going to be book. Book. When there's more than one book, it turns into books. You then need to decide, is it going to be an S on the end or an ES? Remember the rule. And our challenge before we get going, I want you to identify the plural word and add the suffix. So the first one is, there were 25 boy in the class. I want you to ch find the plural word and you need to add the suffix. The second one, I spotted three plain in the sky. And the last one, for lunch today, I had chicken and roast potato. Pause the video, write down the sentences, and make sure you add the suffix onto the correct word. And well done if you got this. The first one you should have written, boys. It's just an S on the end, because it ends with a Y. The second one, plain, turns into planes. You just need to add an S on the end, because it already ends in the E. And the last one, potato, turns into potatoes. You need to add ES on the end because it ends with an O. Well done for today's lesson. Remember, as you are writing out your plural words, you can go back over this lesson. You can pause the video on the rule so that you can help. it can help you to work out what, you need, what suffix you need to be adding onto the end. Remember, it's going to be an S or an ES. And really remind yourself of the rule so that it becomes easy for you. Thank you for today's lesson and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.